<laughs> what the? <coughs> oh. oh, what's going on, guys? Massive voice cracks. I'm Corona Sweets, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, last time we joined the club, nothing bad has happened yet, but we've got to write a poem. Let's do this. Let's actually just quickly check the files. All the characters are still there. Content is still there. First run. It that's that's what I'm doing now. It saved my first it's first run. Library. There's <coughs> nothing out of the ordinary for files. Copyright, I guess. Right. Oh god. Oh! Oh my god! I've got to choose my favourite words. I like crimson. Crimson blood. Memories. Melody. I love the word melody. It's a beautiful name as well. If you guys have ever met someone with melody. I've only met someone in Room Factory with melody, so... It's not such a lovely... It's existence, spinning, passion, frightening, portrait, candy... I'm tempted to clip it to see who would like it, but I don't want to. Tears, I like fantasy. I like fantasy. Universe, sensation, fireworks, smile, destiny. Hopeless, whispers, sugar, precious, blanket, balcony, empty, games. Ribbon, sing, comfort, sweet. Tenacious, vertigo, headphones, agonizing, rain cloud, aging, people. Pleasure. Bed skipping, family grief, ever. You know the bed always wins, right? No matter what, bed always wins. Bliss, proof, sunny, papa, unrestrained, free, wonderful, giggle. Sparkle, extraordinary, sunset. Nature, heartbeat, emanation. Fireflies, dolphin. Where's Monica? Where's Monica? Come on, my cat obviously has a crush on her. Where is it? Aura. Her, laugh, socks, landscape, fun. An ending, heart. Excitement, rainbow, anime, peace, joy. Special, email, kitty, death, swimsuit, lazy, precious, alone. Intellectual, promise, bubbles, heaven sent. Cheeks, anger, a tone, boop. This one here. Doki Doki! Chocolate, vibrant, anxiety, ocean. Ducky ducky! Ducky ducky! Hi again, Hariku! Glad to see you didn't run away on us! <laughs> nah, don't worry. Oh, that's me. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back in the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone's already hanging out. Let's keep it so rude. I hope this isn't too well for coming again. Making you dive head first and- Oh my god, I just realized my Yuri voice is really- Oh no, it's not really quiet. Woo! Dive head first into the literature. I'm not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Zuri told me you didn't even want to join the club this year. And last year too! I don't know if you just like coming and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, maybe you won't see the end of it. That's okay. You finally have a big mouth for someone a manga collection in the classroom. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between Monica and Manga. Monica! Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back in her seat. Don't worry, guys. Uh, Haruki always gives his best, as long as he's having fun. He helps me with the busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. Wait, I do that? Haruki, you do that? You're dependable. So you're- Sorry, that's because your room's always a mess. It's distracting. You must set your house on fire once. Oh. Is that so? <laughs> Two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous- No, don't be jealous, darling. How come? You and Haruki can be good friends, too. Sayori. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh! Oh! 
even Yuri brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? So me? Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sorry, I'm sorry, but it's not like everyone is really. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess it's meant to act to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, this gesture for me is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. It won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Right. Well, yeah. Yuri reached into her bag and pulled out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you don't usually read. You could, you know, discuss it if you want to. Sis. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She picked out a book that she thinks I like, but I'm not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically to take the book. Yeah. Oh, well, you can read it at your own pace. I, I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect one of to kick off some schedule activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sarah and Monica are having a true conversation in the club. Yuri's face is almost buried in her book. Yeah. Notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Man. <sighs> Looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. What am I supposed to occupy with something like literature, right? Like... <coughs> I'm supposed to occupy myself with something like literature, something literature related by myself like this. I guess I could always read some of that book here again. But I'm getting a little too tired to read. I've been oversleeping. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and listen up and listening in on Siri conversation with Mike. Probably gonna seem really lame to the other clubs so. Uh well we can't give up. The festival's our chance to show everyone what literature's all about. Probably the idea of literature class, that's dense and intellectual. But it's not like that, oh you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Probably that speaks to their creative mind. Solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Nobody will come come to invent in the first place with some literature, then. There's more fun to figure out how how to get people to show up in the first place. After all, after enough they come, you could do this, do the thing to speak their creative minds. To this? Jerry's talking, taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Uh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think Boodle did the trick? Uh, well, I, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> Aww. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. There lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put her mind to things. And make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case. Now. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her. Yeah! I open my eyes to find Sarah's face filling my vision. I nearly fell on my chair. Hang on a second, I got this one. Except I fall out of my chair! <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you can have less time for anime, you know? Don't tell me how to live my JoJo life! 
You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica's over there. It's true though. Yeah, I, I know. <coughs> You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's the problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You still overslept every day, aren't you? Huh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. It's a secret to everyone! No. What the fuck? Come on. Let's give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, sorry. It's written all over you. Sorry, glancing around herself. How is it written all over me? We're clearly in a rush this morning. But your hair is sticking out around you. Uh, I run my fingertips on the side of Siri's hair. I'm just doing it out. You really do need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's a two-step pace stone on your car. I tried to wipe the stain with the cream on me. No one would ever notice that. Of course they would. I'm gonna tell you about this, they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, hey, Annie. Annie, you don't have your blazer button. Seriously, Sarah. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? That's super mean. Sorry. You'll have to thank me later. I start to pluck up my blazer from the bottom. Did you see how much better it looks? You'll change your mind. This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these things. Huh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay. I'm happy with like this, aren't you? Uh, yes. Hey, be careful! The bun might come off. This one's so hard to close. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. She's not flat. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it, the one I brought it. I've never buttoned it, but I've noticed it sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Why are you smiling about that? It means my boobs got bigger again. What? I don't want to go to jail! Don't say that out loud! Anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah! I think you're so strange to see Sarah's button blazer up like... What's up? Blazer buttoned up like... It's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sorry, I'm hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. That's so much better. So put her arms out and twirls around. So, if I keep on button, then I won't get a boyfriend. Right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, I wouldn't even let you do things like this. Take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So, that, that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Saying all these embarrassing things. Oh gosh. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Idiot. Well, anyway. <coughs> Just focus on trying to wake up earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine. Fine. It's a deal.
This is gonna suck. Come on, shake! Shake! Shake on it! Shake on it! Shake on it! Why am I touching uh, I, I should go in there. Um, shake on it! Shake on it! Dude, she doesn't want to shake on it. Sh sh she's not loyal. She doesn't want to shake on it. Oh, did I crash the game? <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah. I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come with Do we hate again, Sayori? Oh, but I was joking this time. It's impossible to tell you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Yeah. Monica, something calls out. Why don't we show our poems we wrote now? Yay! <laughs> Haruki, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. <coughs> I feel so enthusiastic. It's like how he still trots away to receive her poem. Poem. Poem! It's now a poem! By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I'm going to do something so embarrassing. I really couldn't find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find someone to share with? Can't wait! Suri and Monica officially pull out their poems. Suri is on a wrinkled sheet of a loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a comp composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Katsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Sorry about... Thinking that. I'm going to probably start with Natsuki's path. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair I share her mine with hers first. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little... It's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. <coughs> I'm like a bit of a bad. I didn't. I just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, I'm not. Good, I'm not. Good enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? I will WWE Grand Slam you. I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you like it. Horses can fly. Horses can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. I'm gonna close my laptop real quick so that stops coming. Eagles can fly. People can try. That's about it. Ah. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Not it. Just be honest. I am. I'm so convinced I wouldn't like it. Well, because everyone in high school thinks running has to be all sophisticated and stuff. You don't even take my running seriously. Isn't the point of poems for, oh, but isn't the point of poems for someone to express themselves? I wish it was a different color when I was speaking. It'd be easier for me to recognize it. Wait, Steam, what did I say? Your writing style shouldn't make your messages any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in that poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end. Even if it falls flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling of the last line. So he did. Yes. I guess there's more into it than I realized. That's what it's meant to be, bro. Yeah, face. I'm glad you learned something today. Oh, I'm glad you learned something today. I keep getting the voices mixed. Grr. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm coming down with a cold again. You might recognize my voice is going a bit <coughs> off again. You expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Suki's feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. So we got Norvi to show up home to. In the next episode, guys.
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and will join us for the next episode. But until then, it's Connor Sheets, signing off.